All right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks for watching. This is another video from the Dark Spirits channel. Now, I usually do whiskey, bourbon reviews. However, however, I wanted to get into this spirit here because this just came out. It's new, but not new. So check it out. What, today I'm going to be talking about the Martell VSOP New Red Barrel Formula. Okay, so you may be asking, why does he have a box of Cordon Blue here? And that's a good question, and I'll tell you why. Because you can't talk about the new Martell Red Barrels unless you know about the Cordon Blue. So for those who don't know, Cordon Blue is one of their premium expressions. What they do with the Cordon Blue is they take uh, a blend of Eau de Vies. Eau de Vies is simply the... Uh, the brandy that's been distilled. With the Cordon Blue, you have cognac in here that's aged between 10 and 25 years, and then they blend it all together. So all these houses have their own style, right? The way they blend it. Like for example, you can make Kool-Aid, I can make Kool-Aid. Yours might taste a little different than mine. Maybe I like mine a little sweeter, so I put more sugar in it than what you do. Maybe you might add like orange slicers or something to yours, right? Everybody has their own little formula out of uh, Martel, Remy, Cavassier, and Hennessy. But the Martel formula, they tend to go for things that are more fruity. So back to the Cordon Bleu. The Cordon Bleu is technically an EXO product, but between 10 and 25 years, the blend, delicious. This box, this bottle, Cordon Blue is around 150 and it's directly competing. It's kind of in the same tier as, I think, uh, the Hennessy XO. So, Hennessy's claim is that they had the first XO cognac. Okay, that's great. This Cordon Blue, I think, is better tasting and a better value. I think the Hennessy XO was like $200. This is. 150 I think it tests better so I mean if you just want to have the most expensive bottle on your shelf that's cool but for me I like the Cordon Blue so why does this matter why does what does this have to do with the VSOP so this Cordon Blue has been a runaway hit for Martell it's been selling like crazy it's been selling so well that they essentially just changed their, their formula, so to speak. So remember I just said that everybody has like a flavor profile they go for. The current, I guess the outgoing Martell VSOP flavor profile is not as sweet as most of their other stuff. So they wanted something that was kind of headed along the lines of this flavor profile. The Cordon Blue, so they came up with the new VSOP, the VSOP Red Barrels, and I'll get into that. Now this is the new Martell, the VSOP, matured in red barrels. So red are, what are what are red barrels is the question. That's the first thing I looked at. So I looked at um, the internet. I did an interview. I read an interview from the CEO, and essentially what he said is that the red barrels are barrels that have aged cognac for between four and eight years. Something about how once the, uh, the eau de vie sits in there, the actual uh, the lining of the barrel turns red and that's kind of like their sweet spot. So he said that the formula they've had for over 50 years for their VSOP medallion, they had some new, new barrels and some red barrels and some older barrels. He said that essentially they wanted this new VSOP to be closer to the Cordon Blue. So they said, we're gonna just do our VSOP with Eau de Vie that's been aged only in the red barrel. So the name VSOP, matured in red barrels. So it's a VSOP product. So that tells you that it's gonna be, and again, VS is two years, 
VSOP is four years. Let's say EXO is six years. So you know that the youngest cognac in this blend is gonna be four years old. But from what I read, the uh, he's going for four, between four and eight years old. So that's the backstory of the VSOP, the new red barrels, and what it has to do with the Cordon Bleu. Enough about the history. Let's go ahead and get into the tasting and the nosing. But first we gotta open it up. All right, so this is the bottle. It looks like the same bottle you get with the uh, Blue Swift. Let's go ahead and crack it open. This is brand new. All right, let's see if we can pop the cork. Bam. All right, so first of all, let's go ahead and pour a little bit. I'm gonna just use a wine glass. I keep trying to tell people like, you don't have to have a snifter or something. You know, me usually, I just use like Collins glass or something when I do my cognac, but hey, to each his own. So while that's opening up, yeah, okay. It's got the Swift Bird at the top. Founded in 1715, wow. So this is the oldest one. 1715, that was before there even was United States of America. The color on here, let's take a look at the color. Hmm. Interesting. It would be it would be funny if I could say that it's red, but I don't think it is. I don't know. Does that look red to you? All right, let's get into the nosing. I'm getting a lot of fruit. I'm getting a lot of fruit, like the same fruit smell I get from uh, Hennessy. Smells good, it smells fruity. Not a lot of booze, not a lot of booze taste. It smells pretty fruity. So let's go in for the taste, cheers. Okay. Look at the legs on here. It's got some legs on it. Yeah, it's got some legs on there. It's kind of viscous. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm getting is fruity. Think light fruits. Think like grapes, apples, kinda light fruits, pears, kinda like that. Light fruits. Definitely cognac. You definitely know this is a cognac. The taste and the smell immediately is cognac, but taste profile, fruity. Not getting a lot of wood. With the Cavassier, I usually get like more of a, I guess, tannic taste, astringent kind of shark, but no, real soft. This is very soft. Hmm. Finish is extremely smooth. I'm not getting not getting any burn. I'm getting a little, uh, little of the, little of the alcohol on the back of my tongue. It goes down quick, and then I get the heat in my stomach. Let's see. Yeah, first impressions, I guess. Yeah, it's good. BSOP. I mean, like I said, this is the new formula, and think about that. They had this, the previous formula they had for over 50 years. So if they changed it, there was a reason, like I told you, they wanted to go more toward that flavor profile of the Cordon Bleu. So this is its own thing, but 
if you if you haven't had a chance to try the cordon blue maybe you can get that compared to this one i'd say and again i mean i bought this myself nobody sent this to me there's no sponsorship going on here yeah i think it's good i think i like it let me have one more sip and think about what i'm going to do with this yeah you just take this neat it's good i like it so hey that's what i think okay so today i talked about the new Martell VSOP Red Barrels. Also talked about how it relates to the Cordon Blue. We did a, t uh, a taste test, kind of gave you my first note. So hey, if you had a chance to try this out, pick it up, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.